Thank you again, Jameson, for an awesome talk just now. That was really, really great. I just prepared a couple of slides to go back over this awesome weekend that we've all had together. Thank you, all of you who are still here. Um, as, as Jameson mentioned, uh, you know, we, yeah, this, this has been a great weekend and we really appreciate everybody who came out to, to join us. Um, so we, we worked together with the Crypto Economic Systems Conference to, to put together this weekend. Um, so we actually had three events taking place the MIT Bitcoin Expo in this room, the Crypto Economic Systems Conference in 54100, which I hope many of you were able to attend. They had some really amazing talks in there. And then we also actually had a hackathon happening this entire weekend as well, which you got to hear from the amazing projects that, that uh, won. Let's give another round of applause to them. Um, and of course, uh, this expo wouldn't have been anything without our sponsors. Um, so our gold sponsors, Saya, Nervos, and Cello. Let's, let's thank them, please. Our silver sponsors, Castle Island Ventures, Chain Code, Fidelity Center for Applied Technology, the Stellar Development Foundation, Zcash Foundation, Algorand, and Fold. And our academic and media partners, the Digital Currency Initiative, the Blockchain Education Network, Cointelegraph, Bitcoin Magazine, and The Block. They, they really helped spread the word on this. And, and it, it, you know, I hope that some of you saw the event through them. And, and yeah. Uh, so the, the expo is put on every year. This is actually the seventh annual MIT Bitcoin Expo. It's, if not the oldest, one of the oldest uh, student-run uh, Bitcoin conferences in the space, uh, Bitcoin and blockchain conferences in the space. And so the, the students in the MIT Bitcoin Club really take pride in putting this together for you. We got to hear from one of the former presidents this morning, Jeremy Rubin. Uh, the, the expo was really started by him and Dan, um, and we, we owe it to the club um, and, and all of its members uh, to, uh, for putting this together. Um, and if you want to learn more about us or stay up to date with what we're doing, our Twitter handle is at MIT Bitcoin Club. If you didn't see us tweeting all weekend, you should check it out. We've been retweeting anybody who's been using the hashtag MIT Bitcoin Expo. And then if you want to join our mailing list, uh, it's bit.ly uh, bit MIT BTC mail. Um, and then, yeah, so just wanted to, to go back over a couple of things from the weekend. I wanted to highlight for those of you who are in this room, there was a group of hackers that were in another room that stayed there basically for 24 hours. Um, and I don't know if any of them slept, but they, yeah, so they competed for a grand prize, four track prizes, uh, which you got to hear about before, and then three company sponsored challenges. We really appreciate those companies coming through and, and sponsoring the hackathon. It wouldn't have been the same without them. Uh, so Saya and Nervos Cello again, thank you so, so much. Um, and I just wanted to share a couple of pictures so that you could get a sense of what was going on in the room. They really got right down into it, uh, talking about everything that you would think of in a blockchain conference. We had uh, some members of the, of the hackathon that you got to hear from before who traveled all the way from India. It was really our pleasure to be able to continue a tradition that was started back in 2018 and sponsor their travel. Um, Manish, one of the Expo Committee members, actually went over to India, interviewed a bunch of students, and, and chose these four out of the bunch. So that was really, really awesome. And just to give you a sense of what the judging looked like. Um, and now I'm going to bring up uh, James Lovejoy, who's the MIT Bitcoin Club president, uh, to deliver the Hinock Arga Memorial Prize, which is an annual tradition. Uh, yeah, so if you've been to the expo before and you've attended the closing ceremony, then uh, you'll have some idea what this is about. Uh, Hanok uh, is a student, uh, or was a student in the club. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Uh, so we started uh, this prize in his name uh, two years ago. So this is the third time we've issued the prize. Uh, and it's a scholarship for you know a current student who sort of goes above and beyond uh, sort of the sort of call of duty and working on all things sort of decentralization and crypto and peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, 
So this year, we're issuing the prize to uh, Nate Foss, uh, who is a senior in EECS. Uh, right now, he's working on a startup, working on uh, making a peer-to-peer -peer social network that, as far as I understand, doesn't actually use a blockchain at all. Uh, I think it uses IPFS. So uh, I think he's going to be along later. So if you want to talk to him about that, then feel free to do so. But uh, yeah, give me a round of applause for Hanok, I guess. Yeah, um, and then with that, uh, for those of you who were with us last year, you'll remember that we also did a raffle. Um, so I'm going to, to do that again. We have some uh, Ledger Nano S's and some, okay, so I'll show you guys what we got here. Where is my friend who won this earlier? Right there, I have this for you. Here, you wanna come get it? Here you go. <laughs> so he, he correctly guessed, or not, not, not super correctly, but close enough, <laughs> guessed the current Bitcoin block height at around nine o'clock this morning. If anybody can tell me the current Bitcoin block height now, they can win one as well. Or I can, I can, does anybody know? Anybody have any guesses? Anybody? Huh? That's actually, I mean, that's probably right, or close to it. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I didn't actually check that. <laughs> All right. Um, so I was trying to put together like a just yeah a quick script to to choose random uh, students who were still in attendance, but it didn't work. So are there any students who are still in the audience? <laughs> non hackers. <laughs> we already gave you guys some money. Yeah? Cool. Oh, hey, Nate. Thanks so much. There you go. Any other students who are here? Oh, up there. OK, OK. I'll just keep these aside for you guys, since you're all the way back there. Cool. Um, huh? I, yeah, I know. Um, and then we also have, besides the, the five Ledger Nano S's that we just gave away, we also have three uh, cold card MK3s and three bags of three open dimes. So for these, I am going to ask you a couple questions. <laughs> uh, does anybody remember how many outputs we had on last year's airdrop? Approximately. Antoine? Yeah, that's basically right. So you got a cold card. I'll, I'll save it for you. Um, and then does anybody remember the amount that we gave away last year per airdrop? In sets. Anybody? Yeah, who said that? Oh, Sasha. You, we, can, we can give you some open dimes. OK. Um, for the last few. Um, I'm going to randomly point. <laughs> <laughs> one from that side and one from that side. Now we got four. I'll get two in the middle, too. All right. You. You? Yeah. You in the blue shirt. You got a cold card. OK. And then on this side, yeah. OK, you got a cold card, too. And then I'm just going with this, right? OK. And then the open dimes, let's get people from the middle over here. You guy who's not paying attention. You won the open dimes. And finally, no. <laughs> you guys really want them, so I'll give them to you. OK, great. Um, that was much less organized than last year, but we had some things to give away. Um, I, so I, Nate, we, we already talked about the Hinock Prize, but Nate Foss walked in now. If you wanted to come up and accept it, yeah. If you want to say a couple of words, we introduce who you are. Sure. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was a little late. Um, but I, I never had the pleasure of knowing Hanok personally. Um, but 
from from what people tell me about him, he really embodies sort of like the best of, of what this community is all about and just like being really friendly to like helping new people and just open with knowledge and, and just willingness to sort of share and collaborate with anyone. And uh, I'm, I'm really honored to get the prize named after him. So thank you. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, now just to, to close out, um, I really wanted to extend sincere thank you to the, the committee. Um, they, like, I would not have, uh, th this expo wouldn't have existed without them. Um, we have James, who's the club president, and Nabil and Tamah, who put a ton of hours into putting together the content that you've seen over the past couple of days. Akshit and Christine, who put similar number of hours into putting together the hackathon. Um, Lucas and Anne, who, put, who uh, were incredible marketing chairs and really uh, put together all of the, the imagery that you see here. Um, and then Manish and Daniel, who were instrumental in um, booking everything and making sure all the logistics went off without a hitch. And of course, our volunteer chair, Katie, who second year in a row, doing a great job. Thank you, all of you guys. It was, it was really a team effort to put this together. Oh. Oh, thank you so much to the volunteers. Yes, I, of course, thank the volunteer chair, but the volunteers, like, let's give a round of applause to the volunteers who gave up, yeah. They, they gave up a bunch of their time at the expo in order to make this a great experience for you guys. So yeah, thank you, James. Thank you very much to Hugo, right? Yeah. Uh, without Hugo, None of this would be even remotely possible. Uh, I am eternally grateful to his excellent abilities to just like manage everything and be on top of everything in a way that I am not able to be. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I brought you a little gift, it's just some beer, but I fear that it's anchoring down the Bitcoin here, so I'm not sure I can remove it safely. Okay, yeah. I hope you like beer, you have 12 oh, of them now. Nice. Um, yeah, so I think with that, we'll, we'll wrap up the, MI the 2020 MIT Bitcoin Expo. Thank you guys really so much for, for staying, for coming. Uh, hopefully next year we don't have a potential, you know, global whatever's going on. And we could just all come and enjoy the expo together again. Thank you. <laughs>